Before we get into the episode, I do want to show you a trailer for our new Tarkov tournament series called The Faction over on toc.gg. All links for the tournament will be down in the description below. And now for episode 8. Alright, so it's been a while. What we got? Nothing here. We got some dailies. What's the time? Okay. With a thorax or a stomach shot, we need to kill PMCs. And then we need to get through smugglers by on customs. And then hand over three flat screwdrivers that are on custom. Well, on any map, but we might as well hit our customs, right? Um, that's the website that's going down in a few hours. Okay, we really need to get 133s. That's okay then? Yeah. It's alright, you're not the only one who messaged me this morning. Someone was like, Yeah, why you got live? That was again, Dad. And I was like, Oh man, Mr. Can't stream. And I went and checked. Milk and oat flakes. Oh, that's one propane. Okay. Uh, we're doing kind of a bagless run this time. Is eight shots enough to kill someone? Mm, nah, I'd say two mags. We can find ourselves a scav. Yeah, let's find ourselves a scav. First wage of the day. Level 11. We actually progressing surprisingly well through this. Mamba. Okay, Sabina was actually the inspiration to do a hardcore because he's doing a hardcore series on his YouTube. So what's the goal for this one? Looting some... Uh... Someone is the reason you have Tarkov. Oh, really? Oh, shit. How'd you meet Summoner? What was he playing? PUBG? And then you saw he jumped over to Taki. Friend of a friend? Oh, locals. Oh, shit. Damn. Nice, man. You know, summer's a bit of a weird one, ain't it, really? Yeah, for taxity, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream, man. <laughs> yeah, he said uh, he's basically done with Taki. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. If if I wasn't doing this hardcore series, I don't know what I'd be doing. But hardcore kind of like revitalizes it for me a bit. You know, gave me. Purpose. I think it's a big thing. Talk of this wipe has been very uh dull. 
I, I still think they only wiped because the cycle came out. I mean, Tarkov is a, definitely a dominator, right? But I've said this from day one, this wipe, and people got antsy with me, and, like, basically it was like, yeah, man, you just got to make Tarkov fun if you decide it. I mean, Tarkov's fun, don't get me wrong, but, like, you have to make your... You have to make your own entertainment in this game, you know, at a certain point. And a lot of people assume when games come out nowadays that it's, uh, they're going to be filled with infinite hours of entertainment, you know, as well. We need arenas. Arenas going to kill this game, I think. Arena is such a touchy topic in the world of Tarkov, man. Um, I, I have one or two things. I think arena is going to flop. When people realize that there's there's like no competitiveness in the arena, um, I feel like they're just gonna like not bother with it. Um, arena's meant to be kind of like a like a, a, a ranking thing, right? If you have a levels and all this kind of stuff, but we have to wait until it see, we have to see when it comes out. But like what Nikita said, that uh, there isn't any sort of. Uh, competitive ranking in any sort of way with the arenas which i i kind of feel like that sucks really imagine bringing out a competitive pvp mode and not have any like competitive pvp ranking thing i don't know if it was weird for me it doesn't make much sense I hope they will do. I hope they end up getting forced to, personally. Man, Vaseline is surprisingly common. Yeah, so they said that you have the ability to take guns out of arena and you have the ability to take in your own guns into arena. I don't know if they mean like there's a preset and you can copy your builds across But he says you can bring your own gear and guns So it's like, oh, okay But then if you can get it out, that means you just one tap some guy with full armor and then boom, man You're laughing, right? On your level one Timmy Nikita's never really had a, a high amount of cons <laughs> consistency when he talks. Guy, is he like, oh, mate? <laughs> Head eyes? What? M61, 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 M61. Why, what the hell? Wait, is level 5 armor scabs so common there? Mate, there needs to be level 5 armor scabs, bro. You got some real big eye level people running around now. I wanna... Um, can we... Do we have any more ammo? We must have some PTSD. There we go. PST. Yo, I keep going PTSD, bro. I'm sorry. Fuck you know. 
I swear we have another 20 round mag. Oh, it's there. Um. Okay, we're just gonna rock this for now. Bro, I had no idea where that guy was. Because the weird thing about it was that I got shot by the same gun when I was on the other side of the uh, other side of the wall. But then when I pushed back over to the other side of the wall, from both way, but either or, some guy got slapped by a, uh, <laughs> by a hardcore mate who only had a PM pistol that was silenced. I will gladly take it. Um. I think what map we should go to. I think we should give customs another go. She needs to go feed the cats anyway. I like the barista flipped me off. Yeah, right. Oh, I should have run straight to dorms, man. Ugh, never mind. Oh wow, an AK-74. Let's go. Wait. Oh, backpack. Okay, cool. Bro, MP5 is accurate, you know, in single fire. There's certain shots over in that direction. No way. Yeah, I'm not even gonna fuck around, bro. I can't believe we got the key. Bro, let's go! Oh my god! No! I don't even have any healing, bro. All we need to do is go inside that room, right? Because if we die, that's fine. We can come back in again. And, like, all we need to do is survive an extra. But once we've been in that room, then we're done. Shadows and dorms way in for me. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised.
Okay, cool. Alright, where did he hit us, stomach? Of course he did. Bruh, man. Let's go. Okay. So... Someone's got an SMG in the other building. These other two keys are for the other building, for the safe rooms, but... I just don't want to go there yet. Check my box. I can't. I don't have that key. I don't have 110. God damn it. God damn it. M61? Yo, why have these guys got such crazy ammo today? Holy shit. Bro, M61? That's the second time in like 10 minutes we've died to someone who's got M61. Holy moly. Should have used the AK at that point. All right, let's just double check. Okay, three. Look at that. Boom. I can't. Oh, it's bro. Let's go. First, water, water. <laughs> Playing with fire there, love. All right, Magnum Buck chat. Magnum Buck, 100 dur durability gun. Let's see how this goes. I feel like I should have a. We also need to kill Scabby Boys. Is 20 shots enough? Yeah. People are well geared. Of course. Of course. Of course. We're like six months or eight months into wipe. Just means a lot of deaths are coming up, you know? In, in the instance of that last firefight, the best thing I could have done was actually switch to the AK-74 and went for auto instead of with a... with a little... because he had, what, the fort helmet on and then he had the uh, MMCN or whatever it is, the level 4 armor, chest rig from what I could see. So, realistically, the best thing in that situation I could have done was just walk with the faster, higher rate gun out. Well, not higher rate, but like the more that I can just go full auto and shoot away with. Because then with PS, at least I'd have a little bit of a chance to penetrate in the. Uh... The helmet. Or at least the body armor. What gun did he have? It must have been a hunter. Because it didn't like it didn't look like he had anything like interesting. Yeah, generally, didn't seem like get anything interesting. Do 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 do. Do the dance. But let's be honest, Magnum Buck will just decimate anyone it touches anyway. 
Magnum bottle will just decimate anything. As long as it's a headshot. If we get a headshot, I think it would be Gucci. Or legs. It's what? Three shots with legs? To kill someone with Magnum? I think, I swear it's three. I know for shit's pretty decent, but we don't have any of that. But a trusty old shotgun, you can't go wrong with it. Do the dance. Alright. Oh dear, let's go. I I am actually just gonna head directly straight to dorms. I feel like a magnum in dorms would be decimating for people. If I can actually hit my shots. Actually there is a video that I wanna watch from uh, Mr. Veritas. He released it about over penetration. Whether it's true or not. You can't get into this wipe. I remind you for staying tuned in this wipe. It's, um, like I said earlier, um, this wipe has been very dry and you have to make your own fun. I am someone who has always been, I'm never going to do a hardcore kind of shit, right? Because it just feels like, why would you do a hardcore when you have your main account, right? But... Like, this, this wipe has just been so bad. It feels really dry, as someone said earlier. Can we still wall out this window? That voice line always reminds me of Zombie. Get up there, you did a second ago. Hello? Oh, there we go. Three shots? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed like two of them now. Or at least one of them. Come on, man. It must be someone who walks through these bushes to come hit March from or something. I made five six. I made five five. That'd usually be you what running here. Watch it, the moment I the moment I go downstairs or something that someone's gonna pop their head out and go hello there. <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi, me, bro. <sighs> so we're here to, uh, yeah, I was just zooming. We're here to kill scabs as well. Uh, scavs and uh, I want to try and get some beds. Silent shots over here. Ugh. 
Man. Ugh. Let's stay away from silent shots. The Tat King, yeah, or somebody. Bonk. I went at Fortress. Ah, uh, no, we can't go Fortress, can we? Because, um, that's catching outposts. To me, Fortress is like, yo, know, you, you, it's just a no go zone, bro. Catching Fortress, or catching outposts, sorry, is like, you just can't risk it. No chocolate biscuit is worth that, man. This is medical or that's technical. If Let's go push our gas station. You found one this whole wipe. Oh, what? The rat poison inside a duffel bag. You know, it's when you don't look for stuff, you end up finding a shit ton of it. Especially when it comes to streamer items. Oh, this extract's up. There's a scav there. Kind of loud. Ah, no bag, no bag. Mr. Hunter man, what you got for me? Places of Gucci. Oh, I flakes. I need that for a bar trade. Uh, boop. All right, let's bring this uh, Ada on and come back in again, I think. You've heard it's the same spawns as beard oil, so like power shelves or 107 East Shoreline. Are you looking for John B's... Do you know I've never seen it this wipe? Those glasses. I haven't seen it at all. I haven't seen one John B glasses yet. Not in my main or this one. Oh, it's not pissing it down, is it? Do you know what? It's been absolutely... I don't know if you, if any of you guys are from the UK, right? But for the past two nights, but... Did I join a night raid by accident? I didn't see what time it was. Oh, no. Did we really join a night raid by accident? Bollocks. 
what I was going to say, chat, right, is for the past two nights where I live, right, there has been next level thunder and lightning, man. Well, it's just more light than the thunder I'm going to show you. Like, it's crazy how crazy it's been. It's crazy, crazy how crazy. I'm getting shot by snipers here. Do one man. Ah, oh. bro. We're gonna have to waddle the entire way to res to 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 this place now. Oh, with him shooting us as well. I bet yeah. He's gonna just keep keep you in. Or maybe not. Oh man. Okay, so there, there is a decent amount of med supplies inside here, though, which is pretty pog. Ah, uh, just go from down below. Hopefully, we can get some painkillers. I didn't realize I joined a night raid either. Man, this place is kind of eerie. And my window keeps like blowing open and I look like Jesus for a little bit. Yeah, easy. Thank you so much for the seven months, dude. Oh, kind of perfect. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna have to have we are gonna need to go hit that food and water over there. Takes away a decent amount of uh water every time we pop one of those. I just don't like being here. This place is very dangerous for a uh for a newbie. You know, back in the old days, custom used to be like a beginner map, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, it used to be like where all the, all the new players would go because it's the most helpful. Got a lot of stuff. Nowadays, it's like PvP centric, bro. Yo, yeah, the text to you. Yeah, right, my man. Thank you very much for chilling, buddy. Thank you very much for chilling today, bro. No. I'm going to deal with that. Fuck up, bro. There we go. That's like we had quite a basic shot just then down from down that way. Oh, man. I can't see if that door's open or not. Okay. It's closed. All right. Let's see if we get some meds. Yo, Tat. Thanks, man. I'm glad the guys are useful, bro. Especially for keys and missions. Yes. Try to make them short enough where you can watch them march it in a raid, you know.
Oh, this isn't open. Oh, I wonder if no one's been this way then. Just hit level 20 tonight, spent all night in customs. <laughs> Wait. Oh, another one. Spent all night in customs. The dedication, mate. The dedication that you have. My customs is rough, bro. So many missions of that? Yeah, because... Yeah, I mean, it used to just be literally like three maps at one point. You never seen intelligence folder, but I found three in two raids. They all kind of got lucky, you know. Makes a change. Genuinely makes a change. Normally, I just get my fucking self rinsed by stuff and things. I'm hoping there's scabs here. Because we really need to kill some scabs. Are you serious? How the hell? Is there no scabs here? No scavs at RUAF. No, no scavs at the fortress. No scavs were at oh, gas. Oh, actually, that's where we spawn. So. so, what level is everyone? We got 34. All good. 24. 24. 45, 17. Okay, I'm not that far behind then. Alright, so who's white? Uh, who's, is this your first wipe? Why did I get a voice crack there? Or is this like your second wipe? 22 26 Okay, okay God, I wish I actually jumped that first When you when he cocks it like that, it generally makes me jump every time, man Yeah, I've been able to gain that much just by... I see, I see, I see. You just can't get going? Yeah, no, I'm the... Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm actually kind of close to the same as that, man. Of course, fun, though, but, like... Hardcore has revitalized it for me a bit, you know? But it doesn't mean that it's not any easier. <laughs> Darky is just a rough specimen, you know? And I, I think it's also... The good thing about Hardcore is it forces you to slow down. You know? Not saying it'd be good for everyone, obviously. But like, the best thing for me when it comes to hardcore is that it it forces me to play the game slower. Which is actually, the reason why I got into the game was because... It's not meant to be a shift W run and gunning kind of game. Everyone treats it like that, you know. It, you, you see people do... Oh, bunkhouse. You see people who play it like it's Call of Duty and the the stuff you see people do as well like some of the weird bugs and exploits in this game at the moment is fucking insane man 
You think you way the way you play is hardcore anyway? <laughs> Mate, hardcore's hard enough as it is by itself, man. Slow and badly. <laughs> Man, I just don't know how some people do it. Like, I I could understand where if I was big as Pest, right, and I had or big as Landmark, and I had seven thousand people watch me, right? That's where I would maybe push something on the lines of that, right? So, Pest is extremely clever as a individual. Um, what he's doing right yeah, now. What he's doing with his main channel and the way he's trying to change it to IRL content and Michael is hilarious the, the, the person who's um, the person who's doing the IRL stuff and it also means that he gets longevity when it comes to his main channel like he grew his main channel purely through Tarkov obviously but then it's like changed to IRL and it's he's got such big brain seriously big brain I'm not someone who's going to sit there and complain about the direction that Tarkov's taken, right? Um, when it becomes more mainstream, it means that they get more funding. They can do more cool stuff. They can actually do certain things that they've been trying to... That, that they've been trying to do for the past couple of years, right? But making it as casual as what they have has... Um, It's not like, it's not like it's Call of Duty. There's still hardcore aspects to it, right? You know, it's still a tough game. I'm not saying it's not, but it's nowhere near as hard as what it was like when I first started playing. That might also be due to me playing the game and knowing what to do, but there, there isn't really like any like punishing hardcore elements that were in the game when we first started one that i always pull back to right which is you forget your skills so unless you have max metabolism you would forget your skills after a while and that was really um interesting and hard back in the old days because it meant that you had to sit there with a certain gun right and play with that one gun because if you would go to an M4 and then switch over to an AK and then go back to an M4 again and all that kind of stuff you your PMC would be like worse you know if you didn't play you would uh you forget your strength and your endurance skills which for me is really cool because it kind of meant that you had to play more Uh, we're purely here to kill scabby boys, by the way. But with whatever game you get out there, you, you're always going to end up getting people who are just so good that they can play like Call of Duty. You know? And there, there isn't a big shame in that, but from when I first played to what it is now, it's definitely lost its direction from a military... I just... I don't know. We have to wait until we see more stuff come to it. I guess. Oh, mate. That sniper scout's 100% going to pew pew me, bro. He is there, but... Oh, wait. I got an AK.
Oh my god, I can loot him. Oh no, I can't loot him. his little footsies sticking out. Um, from, I'll be honest with you, from what people have said, yes. Mr. Otto. It seems like that's the only place. Yo, what's up, Lauren? <laughs> really shook onto the face, mate. Hey, Alcohol's been risen me today. Pretty shit. Absolutely been risen me today. So a big thank you to everyone who has been giving me feedback in the latest videos and especially thank you over to the Patreons. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. And a big thank you to Justin ASDF and Freddy for your continued support.